you're now in the garage. These are the extra cars, valet cars, etc. And now, depending on what apartment you're going to, you go to that elevator, like a typical apartment. So you know you live here. We're going to elevator number three. So we're going to drive around. This is elevator one. We're driving by elevator number two. And remember, each one of these has two in and out rooms. So this is the in room. That's the out room. This is our management offices here. So this is where they, uh, where they can see everything going on full time. And then after we turn this corner, we get to our elevator. So this is it. You'll see this green box. The lights get a little animated. That means it accepted us. And we follow the instructions on the screen, on the blue screen in front of us. The instructions basically say, pull the car in, you gotta line it up a little bit. You don't have to be perfect, which is good. We came up with a system that you don't have to be perfect. Um, so when we pull it in as perfect as we can, pull it forward, and then it says stop. We put the car in park, shut off the engine. Now the car is going to rotate into position. Um, as we're rotating into position, it's calling the elevator from upstairs to come downstairs. And so all this is happening simultaneously, but it takes a few seconds to match it all up. So here we are in position, and then you're going to hear the elevator door open behind us. I'm watching the rear view mirror, that's why. Mm -hmm. And here we go, elevator door is opening up. And now the next noise you're going to hear is the dolly coming out underneath us, sliding underneath the car. This is the loudest part of the whole thing, okay. the, the dolly. And those little chopsticks are going to go underneath the wheels and uh, lift the car up. You're feeling it getting grabbed. Three, two, one. You get lifted up. And now it's pulling us back into the elevator. Again, engine off. And we're in the car. Passengers in the vehicle. Which floor, sir? We're, <laughs> we're going straight to the top, penthouse. Ladies so this is, <laughs> so the garage door closes, the elevator door closes. There's an interlocking system in here that locks the elevator into the sill. Mm -hmm. So when the car passes over, it doesn't move. The elevator itself doesn't move. So that's, that's that right now, unlocking the interlocking. Now the elevator's gonna feel loose. You see that? Mm -hmm. We just got loose. And now three, two, one, voila. Here we're rotating and we're moving. All the while, check your cell phones, full bars, you, full of signals. Here you can see over Collins Avenue. <laughs> Fast, quiet. Very cool. Right? What you're actually hearing, the noise you're hearing, is this cab is air conditioned. Because we were expecting cars coming in with their engines recently running. Yeah. Is it 32, 34, 36? 38, I mean, my ears are popping, I don't know about you guys. It's quicker than it is quicker than We wanted to make sure that this is not a gimmick. We didn't want people to think this is a dumb toy and I'll use it once or twice. This is really, the idea about this was to change the way people come home every single day. And to come home in a way that's, you know, private and functional. So now we got to the floor, we're gonna lock the wheels back in. That's the sound you hear right now. And the elevator door is gonna open and spit us out. And here we are at the top penthouse. This is the definition of the car in your living room. There we are. <laughs> now you see there's a, a, a orange light up there that tells you stay in the vehicle, don't do anything yet. We just got dropped down. Dolly's going back into the elevator. Cool, it's okay. Alright, we're good. See? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. That's it.